Hello and welcome back to my channel, Mend with Mare. I am here to do a reaction video for you. I'm gonna do one that a lot of people had asked for off the new album, and that is The Great War. So I've finally gotten around to it, so I can finally listen to this, I'm excited. So here we go. My knuckles will bruise like violets Sucker punch and walls Cursed you as a sleep A lot going on here she's giving really good imagery around fighting like her knuckles being violet from sucker punching the wall but she is acknowledging that she is spineless so somebody that is spineless is somebody who really can't take any type of risk someone who is weak is somebody who is spineless so that would be spineless in my silence meaning maybe she does the silent treatment and so in the silent treatment you know isn't somebody who's very brave it's something that is very, you know, cowardice. One could look at it that way. Tore your banners down. And I know that she said that and woulda, coulda, shoulda, how John Mayer and her tore each other's banners down. This feels a little bit different because she's saying took it underground. So it's not like she's doing it publicly. She says maybe it was ego swinging. Maybe it was her. I don't know who her is. Maybe it's another person that's involved. I don't know. Let's see. Flashes of the back. Flashes of the battle, it, it reminds me of what it could have should have, like the, the PTSD vibes that I got from that. So flashes of the battle come back to me in a blur. Feels very much like she's having a flashback. <laughs> Okay, I'm so excited. I think I actually know what she's talking about here. Over the summer, started gardening a lot. And so I know that crimson clover is something that lots of people plant because it helps prevent erosion and helps build up the soil. So basically crimson clover is really good for keeping nutrients in the soil so that it benefits all of the plants really because it doesn't let the nutrients run out it helps keep the water in it keeps it from running off because of this it helps build up the soil so that it can continue to support any type of future crop systems or things like that so crimson clover is really good to have in your garden and it's really good because it actually brings up like the nutrients if there's nutrients like down in the soil it it's really good at bringing it up up to the surface nutrients that are like down deep in the soil it, it brings things up to the surface oh wait a second so she might be talking about her past experiences like this relationship has allowed or has been so deep that it will bring up past things up to the surface oh my gosh she's so smart another reason why i kind of know a bit about gardening is because my best friend's sister owns a flower farm where i'm from in ohio and it's just the most gorgeous flower farm ever check it out on instagram i'll link it below it's called the wild root flower company and Lindsay is an amazing female farmer and she always like answers any questions that i have about all the different type of plants it's very fun and therapeutic for me every summer i go home to ohio for a few weeks and i spend time over there on the farm i just find people who understand plants just so fascinating i'll have my ne nephew please insert right here what crimson clover looks like thank you really pretty it's like the ones that are tall and wispy and they have like a bop i don't know and it's just so beautiful so Yay. she's saying that the other person kept reaching out their hand to her during the great war i think it's about her own relationship and her past coming back to haunt her but i don't know we'll see She's saying that she wrote a, a letter and promises that maybe she won't hurt the other person if if they survive this moment in time. This is really beautiful, actually. No 
okay, she's taking responsibility for her actions, it sounds like here. Her significant other is doing things with the best of intentions, being very sincere in their intentions and honest. If that person is drawing up some good faith treaties, that's what they're doing. And she's admitting that she didn't do that. She pulled her curtains closed, drank her poison all alone. Oh my gosh. And that makes me think of Romeo and Juliet, you know, where they both end up taking the poison together at the end and dying at the same time. She's basically saying that she killed herself by herself mm. over this. Like it was like a um, star-crossed love, which is what Romeo and Juliet was about. Said I have to trust more. Okay, she's being real, she is bearing it all right here. Her significant other is saying like, hey, come on now, you you gotta trust more freely. Like you have to trust me, come on. She's saying you're playing with fire and diesel is the desire. So the desire you want is just, it's going to ignite this. It's gonna make a bigger fire than you ever imagined, which is not a good thing. She's basically gonna burn them down. <laughs> Screaming from the crypt. Look what you made me do. And talking about, you know, the crypt, I think, and um, what I could have, should have. And so she's like, maybe the past is talking. So it's these same behaviors that are, when we go through trauma, it is imprinted in our brain. And so our patterns that we've developed in order to cope with the trauma lead us to continue reenacting them. And sometimes we reenact them on innocent people. And it sounds like that's what she's doing right here. I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of that where somebody will think maybe they're under the influence or not but sometimes they will think that you're someone from their past or somebody in their life that wasn't good to them and so they'll treat you as if you're that person which is not fair and she's saying that she was doing this it's telling her to to punish the other person even though they didn't do any of the things and I and I I'm not going to say I've never done it either I think we all have done it to some degree because we can't erase our past but we have to learn how to heal from it so that we are not continuing to pass down our trauma or re-traumatize ourselves or other people because we haven't dealt with our own shit so you have to deal with it you have to it doesn't matter what age you have you can't perpetuate your own trauma onto other people you got to work on it you do so I Wait a second. So in the lyric video, there's purple pink skies, which she talks about an invisible string. Oh, this is about her and Joe. This is really, really, really sweet. Okay, I want to listen to that again. It turned into something bigger. What'd she say? Somewhere in the haze, or maybe the lavender haze, which she's talked about, which I've listened to, which is about like when you're like super, super in love. I think that she was fearful that she was being blind to things when she was in the lavender haze. So she's worried that she missed something about him, like in looking for a reason not to trust him. <laughs> I think they almost ended their relationship over this that maybe she believed when she goes maybe it was her so maybe she believed that he was cheating on her or something like that wow so when she talks about your finger on my hairpin triggers so she, usually that has to do with guns or rifles or 
or something where you can like barely touch them and it'll go off. So it's like even with like the slightest bit of pressure that he might have had his finger on the on the trigger set it off. Maybe he didn't even do very much to set her off and she annihilated him because of it. And then she's saying that he was a soldier down that like she, you know, annihilated him, beat him up emotionally, <laughs> not physically, not literally. He looked up with honor and truth and so he held his ground like he he did not waver. He still was honorable through it all, even though she ripped him apart. He was broken and blue. And so she realized that she needed to call off the troops. So she's meaning that, you know, maybe friends or family members that were going to come and back her up. Um, she like called it off the troops, told them like, no, don't get involved. This isn't really what it seems, you know, so she didn't ask anybody else to get involved. And then, um, that was a night she like almost lost him because of her own inner demons or her own inner issues. She almost lost out on like a really, really, really good thing. We can plant a memory garden. Memory garden, back to the garden. Wild Root Flower Company. Say a solemn prayer, place a poppy in my hair. So a solemn prayer is marked by sincerity. So she's saying we will say a sincere prayer uh, to say goodbye with a poppy in my hair. Poppies are beautiful. I love them very much. I know that they are usually used as a symbol of remembrance. It's hope for a peaceful future. So that's why she has a poppy in her hair. It's really beautiful. There's no morning glory. This saying there's no morning glory. So morning glories are these beautiful, I think they're purple flowers, and they are the type that will open up early in the morning, but then as the day goes on, they start to fade and kind of like wilt a little bit. And then in the morning, they're like very up and vibrant. So she's saying like, this isn't that. It, this isn't something that just like happened and then it faded away. It's like, no, this was truly war and it wasn't fair at all. That was gorgeous. Wow. Wow. It's wow. So she's saying that they survived a great war. And so she, she's going to be with her person forever and always. And that instead of his hand always reaching out during it, she was the one at the end that reached out her hand to meet his saying that she vowed she made a vow to him to be his forevermore so it's almost as if i don't know this is kind of claiming that they have committed themselves to each other that's really really beautiful so i really love this the great war wow wow very real very honest vulnerable transparent knowing that they survived it that sometimes relationships can go through the absolute worst and make it through sometimes they can't but in this case it, it, it worked it sounds like they were able to survive one of the hardest most gut-wrenching times in their lives so beautiful i hope you all enjoyed this and saw it the way that i did or it's okay if you didn't but i i can't wait to hear all right thank you so much all of you be well take care and i'll see you soon bye